Hey everybody, it's Tea Time with the Diva. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, and we're going to get into it. Now listen guys, I will say this, you may be thinking what the heck is going on with Diva's hair. I'm multitasking right now. I'm doing tea time as the treatment is in my hair because I have an event in my house today. So y'all got to just ignore the hair. I should have put a wrap on my hair. I didn't think about it before I hit record, but we're going to move forward. Okay. It's all good. We family over here. So anyway, this tea time is dated, dedicated to Amy Robach and TJ Holmes. Okay. From good morning, America three. Mm -hmm. It's dedicated to them. And why is it dedicated to them? Cause those two got themselves caught up in a cheating scandal. As a result of said cheating scandal, they got fired from their high profile jobs, but those two stayed together. I was 10 toes down that that thing wasn't going to last. Mm -hmm. Once they got fired, I thought the pressure of them getting fired and the backlash that they was getting from all their friends in the entire world, that those two were not going to make it. But guess what? They stuck together. Yes, they did. They stuck together. They stuck together. And honey, guess who was their best friend? a bottle. Mm -hmm. They said all last year, they was buzzed every day. Amy said she had about 30 drinks a week or something like that, where TJ Holmes said, honey, I wasn't far behind. I had about 18. In one month, they spent almost 3K in the booze. Yes, they did. And in their case, they can blame it on the alcohol. Now, listen, guys, we're going to get more into this story right after this. All right, let me go ahead and share your screen. And we're going to get right into this story. So embarrassed, Amy Robach admit she has 30 drinks a week as TJ Home divulges his own excess drinking habits, okay? So Amy Robach is appalled over the amount of alcohol she consumed in 2023. The journalist admitted on the latest episode of her Amy and TJ podcast that she had over 30 drinks a week last year, adding, that's embarrassing to me. That's not what I wish it were. Her boyfriend and co-host TJ Holmes tried to console her saying, but you're not alone in it. And we just happen to be saying it out loud. Holmes went on to share a shocking revelation about his own drinking habits, telling listeners he had 18 drinks a day and 2023 okay so they was neck and neck so although they was portraying and walking around like all was good that their uh uh scandal didn't really impact them on a high level it did it did uh robot noted though the last year was an uh uh abnormality for the duo following the fallout from a cheating scandal that led to them getting fired from their jobs at gma3 I don't think I ever go on a full year where I drink every single day. And that was 2023 for me, she said. It wasn't that I was getting wasted or drunk or any of that. It was just keeping a buzz going all day or at least keeping a relaxed state of mind in a heightened, anxious year. Mm -mm. Holmes gathered receipts and discovered a couple spent $2,869 on alcohol alone last month. I thought the number would be higher, to be honest with you, he quipped. Both Robot 50 and Holmes 46 said they consider themselves heavy drinkers. 
with the former admitting that her habit of drinking regularly stems from decades ago. It's a lot of alcohol. Obviously, high school and college, it was more about every now and then binge drinking, which is not obviously admirable in any way, the former ABC reporter said, adding that she scaled back the amount of booze she consumed in her 20s because she was working 90 hours a week and making $20,000 a year. I didn't have money for alcohol, which is a good, which was a good thing, she said. However, once she became a mom in her 30s, Robach said, she started to really get into wine. I think that is when I became a moderate to heavy drinker, where I was having seven to 10, sometimes 15 drinks a week. And I always binge on celebratory nights, the mother of two said. Amid her removal from GMA3, Robach was accused of having bottles of alcohol in her dressing room. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Sort of like, you know, unfortunately, Wendy Williams, um, they said, you know, towards the end, they would find bottles and bottles and bottles, allegedly, of um, empty alcohol bottles in her room. A source empathetically denied the ridiculous allegations to pay six, claiming it was the network's way of trying to get the upper hand in her exit deal. Okay, so she's saying that wasn't true. That's how ridiculous that um, that has gotten. In media, you got sent bottles as gift, and the bottles in her room were sealed. An insider told us in January 2023, they are using any excuse. Other people in the office also have alcohol. It's everywhere, and it's unopened. Now, I do believe that. Because in certain professions, as a thank you, people send you donuts, they send you candy, they send over lunch for the whole office. So I can picture them getting bottles and bottles and bottles of, you know, um, alcoholic beverages, wine or whatever, just as a thank you or Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. So after leaving ABC, Robach and Holmes openly formed their relationship and were often seen on dates in NYC, including one where they were bar hopping together in July of 2023 so at the end of the day my assessment on this yes they part yeah they, they admit to themselves right and they admitted themselves that they are drinkers but i think the drinking got worse because them dealing with the aftermath of what they left behind is it was way heavy on them and the buzz that she wants to claim that she had all day and she never got drunk the buzz was trying to numb the pain of what they did to their ex-spouses and the children because their families also had to deal with the aftermath, which is sad, right? No matter how old your kids are, to hear that your mother is in a big scandal like that is messy. Listen, guys, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, um, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget, guys, hit the like button. And when I get an opportunity, if you chat with me, I will chat back. See you on the next video.